step one of the milling process. Taking the 12 quarter walnut board that's got a hook in it and we're going to straighten it out in order to be able to use it on the thickness planer to achieve a parallel board. So we've got, I've got the joiner set up to about a sixteenth of an inch cut. I've got the safety guard removed only because it's going to be a little bit easier for me to run it through without having to push it aside as well. This board weighs about 50 pounds so it's, it's going to be quite a bear to push through the joiner. Um, we'll be taking uh, pretty light passes. It could take up to six or eight passes to get this board flat on this side. We'll just have to see. I'm wearing the gloves just to provide me a little bit more grip. And uh, here we go. All right, well, after running the 12 quarter walnut through the joiner about a dozen times, give or take, we've achieved what we wanted to. We've got a straight board, no crook, it's completely straight. Now what we want to do is get a flat edge or an edge that's square to this face. And I'll go ahead and get that set up on the joiner now. And you'll see now that we've got a square edge parallel to the face of the board. It looks good. If we look down the edge of the board, we can see that it's nice and nice and straight. I can't really see it because it's in the way of my camera, but it looks very straight. And now we're ready to proceed to the planer to make the other side parallel to this flat sur flat flat face that we just created. All right, the first thing we're going to do before we run it through the planer is get an idea of how thick this board is. Because we've run it through the joiner several times, so we don't know the exact thickness. Now these boards started out uh, two and three quarters of an inch thick. Okay, So the reason why we need to get a, a thickness is so, so we can set our planer up. We can use the, digital, the Wixi digital readout and get an idea of what our first pass is going to be. So let's do that. I've got a digital caliper. We're going to get a rough idea. All right. So, let me get there we go. 2.497, two and a half inches, basically. Three, three, three one thousandths of an inch away from two and a half inches. Um, so now we'll go ahead and set the Wixie. We'll go ahead and turn this so we can get an idea, we can see the Wixie. Turn this on. All right, so we're two, There we go, two and a half, that's, now we want to get, take about a, about 30 thousandths away, there we go. That'll be our first starting point. All right, let's go ahead and begin milling this 12 quarter walnut to size. We're going to come down to probably a nominal thickness of about two and a quarter inches, give or take. So here we go.
All right. And now you can see we've got a nice straight board. Um, the only the only thing left to do is take. Now this is the, the this is the edge that we this is the edge that we squared up uh, to the face on the joiner. The only the only surface that we haven't gotten square yet is this other edge underneath here. Now what we would do is we we take this edge right here against our table saw fence run it through and then we'd have a four side surface board. Everything squared and parallel. Okay? And like I said, we, uh, we milled this. Just a, just a thousandth over a quarter, two and a quarter inches. Maybe you can do a little variance, but just a, a shade over two, two and a quarter inches. Well, thanks for taking the time to watch the videos on how to mill lumber. I hope it was informative to you. If you liked what you saw, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We're new, but we're coming along. We've got some more content coming down the pipeline, so subscribe. And we thank you. You guys have a great holiday, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.